Hey guys, in today's video, I'm working on a millivolt furnace. <clears throat> it's one that's given me a particular problem, one of the few problems that we have with these. So stay tuned, here we go. Guys, we got a furnace that is not heating. This is a millivolt furnace. First thing I'm going to do is go check the... This is one I've been on before. Make sure it's turned up. All right, we got we have our pilot lit. It's burning on the thermal pile. One second, I was having trouble getting getting my meter out. All right, let's see how many millivolts our thermal thermal pile is putting out. Put it on DC, read DC. I'm getting 237. That should be enough to power the valve. All right, so let me see. This is going to be like like my hot and I've got to get my 230 something that I had I got to get that from here to here so if I'm reading something between here and here that's where I'm losing my voltage and I got to track that down I'm losing 163 millivolts. All right, this right here is my thermostat wire, the yellow. So I'm going to test between the yellow coming out of the valve and the yellow coming back from the thermostat. Only losing 18 millivolts. All right, because it's such a low voltage, it's very easy to lose a little bit. So now we're going to check between here, and this is a. Um, it's not necessarily a rollout. It's it's a it's like a rollout switch, but it's for the flu. If it gets hot, too hot, it'll open up. There's a specific name for those. I've just forgotten what it is. All right, I think it's a, called a spill switch. So I'm losing 143 millivolts across my spill switch, which is up there. So let's get to it and try not to disturb anything and see if we can catch it doing what it's doing without making it work all right that's my spill switch as you see it has a it has a uh, manual reset on it Mm. 
I just caused it to come on, but I was reading 117 millivolts across it. That means my my switch did not trip, but I was losing voltage across it. No, it was not tripped. Zero point zero point one ohms. off and put them back on. Just stopped. Just came back on. talking to the camera. This is my spill switch. I am not real sure. It doesn't have a temperature rating on it. Not that I can read. I'm gonna try to reuse this. This thing is spot welded. I don't have a model and serial on that thing. I'm using a 230 Fahrenheit limit here, or y'all might call this a rollout, but when it does with flue pipe, that's actually a um, spill switch. I did bring another with a higher limit. I think this will do. Spill switches normally start 
at about 200 and kind of do this. I actually started about um, 210 degrees. screw that down with zip screws let's go ahead and place this right here this a spill switch is because if the flue pipe gets stopped up this right here becomes the flue pipe it gets really hot and causes that to trip that's why you have a manual reset on it you cannot bypass those they have to be replaced and they do have a lower limit than like a rollout switch trying to articulate in there and I don't think I did a very good job is when the flue pipe gets stopped up it's a natural draft so it has an opening for fresh air to go up the flue pipe when the flue pipe gets stopped up on the roof say a tree limb falls on it or something those flue gases are going to vent through that opening into the house which is terrible. You don't want that to happen. And there's nothing down there by the burners to shut it off. It's going to keep on running, but that little switch is right there on that metal where it goes the opening into the house. And when it gets hot because of the flue gases, it's going to click and shut off. And that'll shut it off. That's why you cannot ever bypass those you have to replace them and in all honesty what happened with that one that's the only reason I have ever seen to replace one of those they just lose voltage across them like they're open but the manual reset has not tripped that's the only reason I've ever had to replace those I hope you enjoyed the video if you did how about like and subscribe I'll catch you on the next one.